London's home to a dynamic new team with a shared aim to bring you the best news, entertainment, travel and sport from in and around London. An insider's guide to the city on television, on radio, online. London, it's your city. And it's our job to bring it to life. That's fine, then. News for London from the BBC. Join me, Emily Maitlis, for BBC London News from October the 1st on BBC One. Last-minute rehearsals are underway for Monday's launch of the brand-new BBC London News, presented by Emily Maitlis in this unconventional television studio. So it's another chapter in the long history of this venerable BBC building. A new programme, new faces, brand-new technology and a new interior. But don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. And neither am I. But this is the last full edition of Newsroom South East. Thanks for watching and for your many letters and emails. You've been great. But do not despair. We are back bigger and better on Monday with a new programme. Stay with us for BBC London. You won't be disappointed, I promise. That's it from us. I hand you back now to Fiona for national and international headlines. Good night. Well, that's it from me, and that's it from Newsroom South East. Join Jules in breakfast tomorrow for all the news in your area. From the new look, BBC London. Have a great evening. Thursday night on BBC One. Now on BBC One, the news in London and the South East with Jules Botfield. The truth about toxic dust, why every breath on the tube could be bad for your health. And the race for a place in our best schools, why hundreds of children are left out altogether. Hello there, welcome to the brand new BBC London News. First this lunchtime, the alarming level of air pollution on our tube. Our own investigation has revealed passengers and drivers are being subjected to levels of toxic dust up to 30 times higher than above ground, and the situation may be about to get worse. Andrew Wynne-Stanley has this special report. 